This video is going to be about how and why I add water to whiskey when I do my blind tastings. Now whenever I'm doing a blind tasting on a whiskey or maybe trying one that's new to me, I always add water and a lot of it. The reason is I want to open the, the whiskey up and be able to taste it, all the little nuances in it. It's not the way I drink whiskey recreationally, but when I want to do a deep dive, you got to add water. Now I'm an old Sarge from the Army, so I think of tasting a whiskey with water in it like a new rifle. And anytime somebody hands me a new whiskey, I, first thing I got to do is zero the rifle. So let me show you how we do that. So the first step in zero in this new whiskey is battle sight zero. How we do that? Take a little bit of the whiskey, not too much at first, just maybe a half ounce or so. And we're going to put water in it, a lot of water, almost 50%. So we'll just drizzle it in there and eye it up. Now what we're doing here, this is like taking a rifle that's been handed to you by somebody else. It's already been zeroed by them, but we're going to take it down to the factory specs, run those sights all the way down to the rail. So we put a lot of water in this. I would never want to enjoy a whiskey with this much water in it, but this is going to open it up. When I smell it and taste it, it's going to taste watered down, but I'm going to be able to taste nuances in there, things like the grain notes, the fermentation nuances, the, the wood. I'm going to be able to taste and smell those things in a way that I couldn't do if it was at full strength. So I'm tasting this. Again, it tastes watered down. We'll get to the part where it starts to taste good when we get it back up to where it's supposed to be. I'm getting a lot of the wood notes, I'm not getting a lot of sweetness. That's something that'll diminish with a lot of water. This one is definitely a rye. Tastes like it wasn't aged in a big barrel to me, maybe a medium sized barrel or a couple different size small barrels, 30s or smaller. And just like with a rifle, you first fire a, shoot, a few shots at the target down range. You go down and you see how far off your sights are and you move it. You're not trying to move it the whole way. Maybe move it halfway. You go back, you fire three more shots. You see where they are. You move it slowly on target. As you start to get close, you start to realize, start to get to know the rifle. You start to get to know how you like this rifle to be set up, how you want it to be set up. And this is what we do is we start to get close. We start to put in smaller and smaller amounts of water till we get it to where we want it to be. It's okay, if you pour in a lot of whiskey, maybe this is a, a, a bottled and bond whiskey or a, a cask strength. If you pour in some, you take a sip, you're like, you know, I think I went too far. Add a, a little bit more water, no big deal. Now each time I'm getting more of the different aspects of this whiskey as I'm bringing it closer to where I wanna drink it. Getting more oak, the sweetness is starting to develop. I'm starting to get some earthy notes Even a little fruit in there, um, some, some citrusy notes, definitely a lot of rye spice, like your, your um, cinnamon, cardamom, paprika. Nice wood undertones, not a lot of the fermentation nuances. These are all nuances that come to me easily since we worked our way up from battle site zero to getting it zeroed down to where we want it. If I would have just poured this in a glass and had a, a first sip at it, I probably wouldn't be able to, to, to really hone in and concentrate on all these different nuances. We'll add a little bit more and I think I'll have it where I want it. Man, I'm now, I'm getting some caramel some toffee smells in there. Nice vanilla sweetness. What tasted like small barrels before. Um, I, I, I do think they were, it was aged in a, a, a relatively short period of time in a medium sized barrel. Um, has a really nice wood flavors to it. I think this is probably bottled in bond. Um, or at least cask strength, it's, it's a high, um, a strong whiskey. I 
nice long finish. A lot of the rise had that long finish, especially the, the higher proof ones. Nice mix of some sweetness in there, not a whole lot. I'm thinking there's no corn in this. With the rye, it's pretty easy to nail down the corn. It's either got none or it's got a lot. It's usually either a, a, a Pennsylvania or Monongahela style with none or a Maryland style with a lot. So I'm not tasting much, so I'm going to probably guess it's got no, no corn in it. Great whiskey. Loving it. Again, the point of these blind tastings, not trying to guess what it is, just trying to be able to glean the most from it. This is the way I do it with the water. Start with a little sample of your whiskey. Pour a lot of water in it. Don't be afraid to pour too much. It's only a little sample. If you dilute it down too far, you can just add a little more whiskey in. And then incrementally, work those shot groups one at a time, maybe three or four different times to add more whiskey back in to get it where you like it. Each time, pay attention to what you're tasting Pay attention to how it tastes and smells differently than the taste that you had before with more water in it. It'll almost seem like different whiskeys sometimes as you move through them. You can get a lot more out of it. Once you do this the first time and you get to know the whiskey, you don't have to do it every time. You don't have to do it again. But you really get to know that whiskey. You sort of mentally visualize that taste profile with it when you first lock this in with that battle site zero all the way up to having the, the weapon zero. This is the way I like to play with the water. I do this with all my blind tastings. I do it with a new whiskey. Try it once. I think you'll like it. Cheers.